Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donna Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. And to those of you who were there with me from the beginning and they are still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we will be preparing chicken foot stew peas, Jamaican chicken foot stew peas. The two main ingredients will be some chicken foot and of course some red peas which I have already soaked and I have in there three pegs of garlic and I'm going to turn my flame on right at this minute and also I'll be adding just a small amount of salt We'll be using all chicken foot in this, you know, stew peas is a Jamaican dish and it's authentically prepared with some form of um, corned or pickled meat, which is pigtail or salted beef, corned pork and all of that. We're going to be doing today chicken foot. We're using chicken foot as the meat kind or the protein, whatever. So we have pre-soaked our peas, as I said before. And I've put in a few pegs of garlic and I've put in a little salt to help that little salt there is to help the peas to absorb the so a little salt in it so when we put in the chicken foot at a certain interval and when it comes to the point where we are going to be adding our spices and seasonings we will have a little salt a little salt tea or a little taste little flavor to the peas therefore we can add whatever additional salt we want at that point it will be easy to season the, 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 the stew more easier because the peas would have already absorbed a little saltiness whilst it's cooking if you understand what I'm saying I hope you do now we have that there and two you don't want to put this on a very high heat you want to treat this more like a slow cooked so we are going to let this piece start boiling until it's like probably quarters of a way cooked. Then we are going to add the chicken foot. Okay? The peas is more harder to cook than the chicken foot. So I would not want to put both of them in at the same time, even though I add pre-salt. Now, on to the business of the chicken foot. I have washed my chicken foot with lime and I have used, make sure all these little yellow parts, Kenisha, big up yourself. They should have, they not should, they would have the, 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 the toes on. But my lady that I buy from, she always takes the toes off for me. Kenisha, enough love. So I've scrubbed them and I've used the back, the rind part of the lime also because the chicken foot them, them extra raw. So you, what you want to do, you want to put your knife at this interval. And somebody, Mr. Debbie, don't lick your hand down. But guess what? Me, I go lick my hand down. You understand? I would have my chopper, but I don't have my chopper. So there is a joint here where you want to get. So you want the chicken foot to come like this. Because if you don't do it like this, when you cook it, I got skin up and stuff in the pot. So right here. And also, you can just give it another crack here. So you have it limp like this. Okay? So when it cooks, it will be just like, you know, it will be just like, well, settled. And all like that. So one more for the record. Right here in the joint. And then you'll give it another chop there. I'm going to go do all of this, these like this now. And when you see me in the next clip, it will be the perfect time to put my chicken foot in. We will be finishing this chicken foot stew peas. And I'll also be serving it with a few little stuff. It is um, mostly eaten with white rice. Yes. And I'll show you how you can put a little extra stuff to it to make it be even a perfect Sunday dinner, even a perfect Father's Day meal, very cost um, consuming, as okay my girl, very, yeah, really cheap, and I love that, so I'll catch you in the next clip, okay now family, I think it's time for us to check our peas, now remember I told you we wanted the peas to cook to a certain level, start, you know, before we had the chicken foot, this that I'm going to do, don't do it like I'm doing it. Take your, look here. You want to do it, I'm going to be doing it like this. You don't do that. 
you are just if you're a person that to start cooking you don't do that this is what you are supposed to do you want to take a peas grain or two and you want to mash it you can see it start cooking me and all of it me all and back and tough me just take it out of the pot to like this when you reach that stage you like me you can do that but this is the way you do it now okay so it's time now the peas is at a point where we can put our chicken foot right in there and that's what we are doing right now now that we have put in our chicken foot we want to add some hot water reasonable amount this is not little little here no we're going to put a reasonable amount of water because we're going to leave it there to slow cook for another i would say about 20 minutes time before we come back to look at this okay you see the chicken foot that starts cooking this one never get cut yeah it did only one part so we want this thing to start cooking until all the, 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 the water this chicken foot starts you know the, the, the gelatin in the chicken foot starts coming out the water like you know saturate it while it cook it absorbs that water from the the peas and all of that till the softness of the chicken foot starts coming out if you know about chicken foot some people don't and we want to say you but we in jamaica not everybody we do eat chicken food so look at me here you know so you want to cook it and you know you can leave it on the slow cooking piece remember you have the peas there the peas is that one part now the chicken they foot the one side and then the liquid is one part i'll show you when i come back after 20 or 25 minutes what we're gonna be start doing what we're gonna be doing to start letting this thing come together and it look like we have a work this piece we ain't got any <clears throat> i don't have any beats today but i'll find something and i'll show you I must soon come right back at your family and this is what is happening liquid has been receded and or it's receding now the chicken foot starts you see they start getting a little jelly like let me show you the fork can go right through all of them right now it's they're still not properly cooked okay you want to at this point start mashing some of your peas you know you want to start get somebody into this thing mashing your peas yeah that's what because at the bottom of the pot there is all the peas there so you want to start mashing some of your peas because you want to get this thing coming together because the peas is still at one place the liquid is at one place and the, the, the chicken foot is at another place they're scattered all even though they're in the pot it's not together so to speak so you, you, you the, the, the real aim here is to get your chicken foot stew piece finished as a stew with everything gelling together mash some of your peas not all because we're starting the stewing process now you see they're taking a little color and all of that it's time now for you to put in your pinners if you want to say spinners you say spinners i'm saying pinners time for you now to put in your little pinners gonna do that and come right back and there is also a video on the channel right here showing you how to make your pinners soon come Okay, fam, pinas all in and all of that. Stirring constantly. And if you want to mash a little more peas, you go ahead. I'm putting in some carrots, not compulsory, just to give the dish a different little look. No particular flavor it will have, but you're just going to give it a better or a prettier little look. And all of that. Carrots in. Um, um, Chicken foot halfway cooked, peas three quarters way cooked, and the stewing continues. We are going to be stirring around as each time we come. We stir, then making sure that the liquid is not dried out. If the liquid is dried out, your hot water is there to make sure everything comes right back into play. And all of that. Still on the medium, giving it a few stirs. That is what is going to bring it together. The stirring is the process that is going to bring this together. To let it have that desired stew piece body catch you okay now fam we are at this point where it's starting to build slight a body slight thickness you're gonna continue stirring and all of that now 
this thing wasn't cook as I said before with any um, pickled meat so you got to spice it up because the pickled meat don't need no whole of spice you know mm? yeah man you can just your scallions or if you want to beat it with your spoon you go ahead you know this is a regular thing in any Jamaican kitchen whereas if you're from the old school so this is all I have in scallions so you can put it down in there you are making flavors at this point I'm gonna be using a piece of ginger yeah you could also add some coconut milk I am not using coconut milk today a piece of ginger a green pepper some no we'll use this later on a piece of green thyme which is important a little more salt at this point and then you also check for your final salt perfection when it's finished look at me here a pinch of black pepper not a lot I'm using some fresh onion flakes put to your liking depends on how much you want I am also adding some basil remember family you can just do it to what you have in your cupboard I'm using what I have okay I am also adding a little more garlic but in the powdered form this is granulated garlic powder and you know it's just like freshly grounded um, garlic or something yeah so you put it to your liking mm -hmm. and all of that let's come now and give this a stir to let all these get incorporated mm -hmm. let's give it a little time to gel together and as you do that you also want to taste if the salt perfection is coming it might not be at the part at the, where you want it but you want to taste now before you add your final salt amount of salt you could not bad at all coming to come you could also use your smaller spoon for put it in there and taste it but you must rinse it before you put it back into the pot must soon come we are right back this is like coming up to the color and all of that you want to continue stirring stirring and you can still mash a few peas as you go along mm? yeah it's coming to come it's getting thick the stirring is bringing everything together so when you lift now you're seeing chicken foot you're seeing liquid and you're seeing some peas but it's still not there yet you need to stir some more no you look at the color this is not the direct stew peas color it's pale this is due to the peas that we used for me it is hard for me to get peas like first time that gives pretty rich color I have showed that on a lot of my previous videos that is for all of you who are new here and I can't do anything about that what I'll be doing next it is for you and also that is what I use because we now have no control I call peas that we get unless we are going to plant peas in a bush and maybe it not come the right color either okay so if it is that you're where you are and you're not getting the right color peas and this is all you see is two peas looking I am just sharing with you I use some tomato paste or you can use ketchup if you are not a ketchup police you can use some ketchup the ketchup will enhance the color mm -hmm. and you know so the ketchup it has a nice you know, kind of slightly little sweet taste lower your flame and give it a few rigorous tears to let that tomato paste start working in I want you to look at what I'm doing and I want you to tell me in the comment section if you see it's looking any better that is behind the camera dad have you seen any difference yeah. since I've added the tomato paste and yeah. it starts dissolving yeah, man, what what's different. the difference that you see a little more color okay beautiful now you can add to you get the desired color that you want so we like our stew peas with a nice like a pretty color nothing is wrong we're gonna add a little more and this is a touch and I think we are right there in that mm -hmm. yes we are right there let us come back and let us give a few more rigorous tears look at me here it's starting to look like stew peas isn't it so dad yes yes man yes it's getting thick it's still not there look mm -hmm. at me here mm -hmm. look at me here dad you're shooting them up yep. okay we've got here some chopped bell peppers green we have if you have yellow or red 
you could put it in there or orange it would bring out the dish even better i think everything is there to a suit and all of that show them up one more time dad yes this is what we use when the peas is not given that beautiful pretty color if you got a problem with it you can use your beads if you got a problem with the beads use what you want to use or use with the, what you have i am just sharing i am not compelling you to do it i'm just sharing as i always do lower your flame a few more stirs continuously sorry occasionally stirring each time you come you stir now at this point it's starting to get thick and it's starting to make make a hedge around the pot so you want to start to give it a little scrape and all of that if you don't want to scrape it you just do what you want to do and all of that look at me here this is come starting to look like a pot of beautiful chicken for stew peas let's leave it to simmer when we return we'll be plating for you this very dish may i show you how you can just put it together with a few little stuff and you can make it the perfect very in if i don't know i remember the word and then i don't remember low cost father's day dinner must soon come okay family our stew peas is ready this chicken food stew peas is ready to be served I'm just taking up a few spoonfuls to let you see and to let you understand. Remember earlier in the video, I kept emphasizing on the stew coming together. If you have followed the video and if you have reached at this point, let me just pause to say thank you for watching until now or, or to the end. Remember when I took up, I said to you, there was liquid at one, one side, peas at one side, at to one side and um, chicken foot. Now when you take up your seen chicken foot, your seen stew and all of that, the dish is ready to be served. The stew, the liquid, the chicken foot, the peas and all the other condiments have come together. We are going to go now, plate up some just for you. Masum come. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate and most of all to your stomach, it's chicken foot, stew peas done jamaican style okay i've showed you we serve it mostly with white rice you could serve it with some kalalu rice with some pumpkin rice your rice of choice we have here some mixed raw vegetable or jamaican special this is our stew peas and we have put here a slice of steamed pumpkin just for you for your father's day my puppy is barking on the outside she was a little hill and she's getting better now so she is just you know she had one in hand so if you have liked this video and you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you. Remember to give me a big fat thumbs up. Remember to make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey family. When you do subscribe, remember to hit, hit that notification bell. Press the option all. We have been a little bit absent in the past month and all of that. We'll be making up for it in this coming month. We'll be posting more often because I know you're waiting on the recipes. Father's Day is a few weeks away still, so I'll be coming with ideas just for you. So just in case dad enjoys a chicken foot meal, you can just do it. If not, you can just do it for your family. I want to thank you so much for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all of those who have been kind and have been donating to me on, you know, what in whatever way. Thanks for the love. Those also who have been patronizing us with all little merch, I want to thank you so very much. Remember, it is there, and we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You just have to put up with my puppy in the last part of the video. She's just happy. I just want to say thank you, thank you, and remember, be you, do you, and most of all, love you.